very good in this service. Among the treasures you claimed is the great sword of the hero Javelin. in acquiring oh, intel on the underground fortress. Oh, this Such job will be completed once you are Succeeded in acquiring intel. I just have to see what they actually have a design to focus on. What? You stand before the goddess statues, Jula, Althena, okay. and texts say the goddesses sacrificed themselves to defeat Althena. The one in the center is the goddess of compassion, battle. If your party falls during your adventure, a prayer to Althena. If you are repeatedly depending on her grace, the amount you must offer for her. Boost rate of finding weapons and shields and chests. Boost rate of finding accessories and chests. Slightly increased money gain during the slightly increased round score during the pay it. Let's see resurrect. Let's see what they have. Ah. Allow this hot Alec. Arrow in the knee. Yeah, we're gonna have to get Alec. Yeah, we're gonna have to skip that sound right get up. I'll we'll just. Let's see if we can. May they rest people. in peace. Samuel. May they rest in peace. Peace. Well, oh, that sucked. I As like. you leave I the like, temple, no, a I ragged do like old man slumped that, like, in the heart. road. His raspy like voice makes it difficult for you to discern if he's even speaking your language. Oh. You can give him a coin if you feel pity for him. Of course. He doesn't even acknowledge the coin. Yeah. You probably won't be able to communicate with him. You succeeded in acquiring intel on the huh. underground. What's the last one coin?
All right. Okay, choose allies. Yeah, oh, and yeah. Then I got strong arms. Yeah, we're gonna want a big, Let's big go. cruiser. We're gonna have to also take Fisher and Dinosaur Aerial. Sorry, Mage. Sorry, 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 Mage. I am not going to be needing I'm not going to be taking you with me. I you succeeded in acquiring sure intel so on the underground fortress. Welcome to my show. What would you like? I'll just see if I can repair most of my equipment for the hell of it. Fix all, yes. You succeeded in acquiring intel on the underground fortress. This job will be completed once you report to Count Dean. Back again, eh? Hey? Uh, let me try again. Every quest. Well, learn skills. And kind of two points. Oh, I see that. I am so idiot. Not yet a tank. Okay, I'm gonna take that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to take next scimitar. You succeeded in acquiring intel on the hey, underground oh, fortress. Guys, sorry. This job will be completed once you report to Count. You report everything you learned to Count Dean. Yeah, we'll be and more self naturally, he demands the great sword. But at least he's in a good mood now. He thought you'd just flee, but you didn't. It seems that he thinks much more highly of you now. Dean confides in you some of the problems in the castle. Once the king went missing, the Prime Minister began recommending the Archduke McNeil of Bulga to the throne. Bulga is an aggressive nation to the north. McNeil is related to the King of Hydland and has a legal claim to the throne. Count Dean claims that McNeil has been rallying nobles in Hydland. To... That's why Dean hired Tomit to steal the scepter. He says the Tomit is extreme. Suddenly, the Prime Minister and the Princess appear. It seems you are being watched. The Count glowers. And it... the Prime Minister warns you not to involve yourself any further. The Princess, as usual, looks back. Since you completed the job at the castle, you return to the Adventurer's Guild to tell them what transpired. Roland also happens to be here to report on a job. Yes, say, However, okay, Sam, you, we can Roland take the thinks that he just missed him and asks you to track down. Quests, yes. Reclamation of honor. You look for Samuel, the guildmaster. He should be somewhere in town. Oh, no. Nope. Haha, <laughs> slain, slain, slain. Oh, man, I Which so one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? You look for Samuel, the guildmaster. Sorry, he should guys. be somewhere in town. Where's the bloody hell Samuel? Well, oh, I'm sorry that I'm more quiet than I just because I need to I got I'm such a bad gamer that I must be. Ooh, Like how it at least puts me immediately to this position. 
This underground labyrinth is said to have been made in a single night. If you come like here in some way, shape, or form, it is a dangerous place, repeat with traps. It bars entry to all who would dare. Uh, this is the one thing I have a problem with. I can't take on this. I'm trying to listen and trying to. This is one of those things that is not easy to commentate over because you don't want to infringe upon some of these actors' voice acting and the, uh, the narrator going all over it. But it just bothers me that so many of these people who. A lot of these new people coming into the gaming industry seem to be trying to find as much of a problem with the games as possible. Oh, it's just like, hey, it just seems like a good the game. Was sprung, play it. And the door magically closed fast. Oh, oh no, that's not weak against fire. The core from the wall could be used to oh, holy crap, my life has to work. Come on, let me pick it up. Let me pick it up. Yes. The clink of metal hitting the ground can be heard. You'll gain a magic key to open the door. Yes, I want to get out. Get let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. Uh, you know, I don't think we're much of modern design of modern of uh, uh, modern reviews seem to, be, seem to be based more on the average generic critic. And I understand why there's been more of that push of the generic critic, whoever they may be in game uh, games. Because I realize that it's very, very easy to you're this massive great critic because well how the industry is yes that's gonna say how the industry is it's pretty much whoever's the loudest the big standing kind of like a lot of youtubers like they're bigger they're louder they're right in some weird shape or form and i really would love to see that type of mentality and thought process kind of believe that we should be trying to figure out actually how to be um Hold up more merit for those who actually go in this industry. And we shouldn't just be needing to like walk around and bounce around and find out who can we trust, who can listen to, who, who's right, who has validity. So much of this modern game, quote unquote professional nature, seems to be all based on who is the loudest voice, and that should never really be the case. And that just just this oh this this just this case of whoever's the loudest and the biggest and I have I have no ill will because it takes a lot of effort and a lot of work to get to to get noticed in your job. Though I still always laugh as a critic, you pretty much are playing a game to review it and have other people take your views seriously. And when an industry in itself is made fun of like so many people on the outside, I don't think, I'm starting to think now that, yeah, our industry, our, our community may not be the best, but I'm thinking it might actually be the issue of that the professionals are not, in a sense, being professionals, and that might be our reason why we get such a horrible status look on us, not just by our little community of gamers that it might actually be more indicative of the just in theory the overall arching of the uh, grand scheme of things how everyone in general is looked at this not just the gamers ourselves because I'm glad you do remember um Alan Ballsack who was on Roger Eber. I know I'm bringing him up, but it's just that if you remember how he uh he had this huge community that went all bonkers and shit over what he said about gaming, and he actually took the time to listen that we might do something like that. We might need to have more smaller gamers, more smaller communities be the ones to be looking at games than the bigger guys that we need to find a 
not an underground notion of, oh, we're gonna be reviewers, but we need to find somehow we can actually create a better positive meat that looks at it so we should be. Unlike looking at them like um, how we are now in some of for lack of a better term, professional. And so many professionals like to say, oh, we're knowledgeable, we know what we're doing, but this needs to be like a call call and glory art. A fanboy professional who happened to be getting this job. Uh, tell everyone was entitled when the game actually did so many mechanical things wrong. And that he gets uh, this attention and love, uh, love by the community or respect. That nothing is done by him other than telling people off, telling the people he's right. That he's the big hot show, listen to him. And we should be not listening to people like that. We should be listening to people who actually understand what they're talking about, understand their gameplay, and don't really have an objective other than the love of games, and realizing that the love of games need to be tempered with smarts and understanding and not not getting for lack of a better term, sucked into this fanboy esque God damn it, you fucking spores from hell. Uh. Okay, gotcha. Click it. Okay. But no, so I think we need to find... I think we need to find a better community and a better ability to voice our... Lack of, um, lack of better word, our discontent for how we quote quote professional because to get into the professional area seems to be they claim that the way to get into that oh, shit, is to just put up a blog, keep on posting, get a fan, keep on having a shtick. And this idea of the supposed have a shtick to get your thing and get your views seems to be nothing more is how can you kind of in a sense blow things out of proportion to get an attention. And as I say, that doesn't seem to be the way to actually handle it. That we as a community should not be finding our quote unquote stick. Other than we love games and know what we're talking about and we'd like to do better by it. Like, that shouldn't be considered a stick for um, getting views. We should be looking at that, okay, we're making designs, we understand the morals, is it actually a good or is it just the uh, mindless, I'm having fun type of game? And even if it's the mind, uh, mindless have a fun game, we should be dismissing those things from it. No, it should, we should find a way to... We should find a way to... Ah! Father another! Freaking stupid beetle from hell. Uh, but no, we should be finding a way to not just be... Uh, we should not be just finding a different way to be stuck into this. That we should be ah, part of another. Ah, no, this is not fair. This is not fair. This is not fair. Oh yeah, of course. The one time when the art style does go off, Ryan is trying to get into it. Come on, Undertix, kill them all. Come on. Oh my lord. The fungi infested underground labyrinth. Nah, but no, we need to be finding a better way to. Yay, they. Come on. But no, we need to be finding more ways to properly grow our community and properly be taken seriously. And I think the way to do it is not by having. Colin Moriarty's in the world, like, for sure. That's a uh, good thing to, like, uh, record adventure. But now that seems to be the thing. Thank you for listening. Um, please tell me what you think. And I like to say, everyone, thank you. And good night.